If you are looking for the best color plastic foams for base, his list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference, features, prices, quality, durability and reputation of the manufacturers. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So, let's get started. At the fifth position of our list, we have straight tail finies. Straight tail worms are subject with mixed opinions. Some claim that they are a waste of time because fish don't eat real worms. Still, there are those that catch an impressive amount to have base on them. We believe that the Robo Worm is one of the best you can use. It boosts some of the best action. It's easy to use and is one of the best worms for large mouth base. It is one of the best drop shot worms in the world. We love it because how soft and subtly said. You can work it slower during cooler occasions or speed it up when the fish get aggressive. You also like it that it can catch big and small fish. The fishing lure is not very big. It's the same size as the average base worm, so you can use it over everything. The Rubo Worm is a great one to have in the box. You want to let that long profile do the work for you. Make sure to work it very slow. The Rubo Worm is versatile, especially in cold water situation. It's one of the best out there. It does not work as well as moving faster and it doesn't look as good. This is for you if you want to work at the strike zone for quite a while. It's also very effective on almost every other base rig except the wakey rig. Specifically, it was designed to be effective in drop shot rigging but it also has its place with the Texas rig, the Carolina rig, the punching rig. We suggest trying Robo Bomb. The number 4 position is dominated by floating bombs, Zoom Straight Tail Trick Bomb. Do not be fooled by the simple appearance of a Zoom Trick Bomb. Although it is very basic, it is one of the very best base fishing lures in the world. It has caught a ton of fish in years past but some of us just keep on coming back to it. It is a very basic bomb profile and the action is just the right amount of aggressive and subtle. It swims more like a slow moving swim bait. You can try to rig them on Texas rig for bottom bouncing to catch the fish that are holding deep. If you like the Vecchi rig, it is absolutely deadly with the technique. I would have to put it right behind the original Vecchi bait if I had to choose one or to be the other. It can work very well in almost any water conditions. The amount of action it has is determined by you. It can be fished very slow or very fast in a retrieve. You are the one to decide it is a normal sized base worm so the fish you catch on it can be very every size that swims. A lot of smaller fish will bite it. This may be something to consider, you will catch more on it but most of time. They will be smaller, occasionally you will land that monster from an accident on the swamp. I'm specifically talking about that huge fish that destroys your lure after you gave up on a cast. Still, I can suggest that you tournament fish with it because it is versatile and effective. Many tournament fishermen use them for a reason. This is because they work, they work well enough to consider. Moving on to the next at number 3 with Finey's Worms. Finey's Texas are some of the most effective producers in colder water especially if you are out of trophy fishing. When the water is cold and the fish are too lethargic to chase anything, you usually get a few more strikes when you have something very subtle and slow moving tied on. There are the situations where in a lure like the Zoom Magnum Finey's Worm really shine. The Magnum version is a bigger version of the original Zoom Finey's Worm. The original works too. The original Worm is a thinner version of a trick Worm. The best part of having a thinner bait is the shelf. When this fish sees a big bait, there is a certain amount of water displacement that occurs when it is retrieved. When you fish the water with the same one but thinner, the fish see the same meal but feel less threatened. It is better for bond base. The Magnum version of the original Classic is just another tool in the box to go with you on that trip for big fish. This size is large. This can help some of those smaller fish off your bait. You'll need a pretty good size hook too. While smaller hooks can well work with enough practice, we suggest starting on a bigger hook first before downsizing. With the right hooks, you can throw these on a drop shot. Vicky style, Texas rigged and most other ways commonly available. These can be the money maker in your box in this season. You can always get the normal sizes too. They are just as good. The number 2 position is held by Ribbon Tails Zoo Mac 2 Ribbon Tail Swim Worm. If you are a fan of fishing for base with Ribbon Tail Worms, you can catch more fish with the Zoo Mac 2 Ribbon Tail Worm. Ribbon Tail Worms are great baits when you want a ton of action on the retrieve. Many anglers love to use ribbon tails for one reason, they catch big fish, specifically this one from Zoom is very effective and has got a ton of base. You can use them to intimate snakes swimming through the water. They are also used for very big catches because of size. The worm has a very long tail that is filled with action. You can vary the action depending on how you rig it. Zoom ribbon worms are about as classic to base fishing as the fishing hook is. Almost everybody has tried one at least as once as if they have not, they should. They make an extremely versatile option when you want to fish a little bit fisher and faster for whatever reason. 
They work very well on most base fishing rigs such as the Texas rig, the Carolina rig and the punching rig. They can also be very effective in very cold water when you are trying to fish with a more fine easy road. Sometimes moving very slow with that tail moving around is what it takes to get you the strike. Keeping in mind that this is a lure that you want to reel in and retrieve it, you do not get to use it with the Wacker rig, drop shot or Nico rig. Give it a try when you want to reel in. Finally, the number one position is dominated by Stick Worms Gary Yamamoto Yamansinko Stickbait. It does not really matter whom you are talking about base fishing. One thing remains too, the Gary Yamamoto Yamasinko is not just one of the best plastic worms in base fishing. It is one of the largest mouse based lures if not the absolute best in the world. This awesome stick bait is so versatile, you can rig it on a Texas rig, Carolina rig, Nico rig, Ned rig, Wagyu rig, Shaky hat and pretty much anything and everything else needed to bring those big baits out of the cover. For those who have yet to see the action of the original stick bait, you may be a bit confused if you look at it as it falls. It is barely anything, it does a very subtle shimmy as the bait fills to the bottom of the water. It does not look like it will accomplish much of anything but it does. The lure has caught more big fish than many lures put together. The huge base absolutely love it. This is a lure that every angler should consider trying out fishing since Coast Jost works. No competing stick bait compares with it either. It is in a class of its own. No other stick bait has the action that the Gary Yamamoto one does. This is because the plastic is very soft. Other manufacturers have tried again and again to create a bait that feels the same but it more durable. Each time they have filled, you have to select action over rib baits because one doesn't exist without the other. They also cost more than the competition as far as price goes. That's all for today. We upload part of review videos in every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.